and welcome PML fans. We are on to Kenneth, uh, coach of the Bronzong Boys. Uh, he drafted GMAC Hatch Green, uh, Riperior, Dusclop, Reuniclus, Kabutop, Florantis, Doug Frio, Octillery, Orbital, and Indeedy Female. He drafted a lot of trick rooms. So let's see how we feel about this. Yeah, well, it's definitely the best prepared for trick room. Um, obviously, being built from pick one, it's been had, he's had this in mind. Um, G Max Hatterene's one of, if not the biggest doubles threat under trick room. Um, G Max Smite is going to be super annoying for his opponents. Um, you know, Riperia, Reuniclus, Dusclops, all these mons are super threatening in trick room. So, be interesting to see what happens. Uh, and uh, what does G Max Hatterene's move do? It confuses both of both the opponents. Gee, that's fucking busted. Yeah. Well, that's doubles for you. Yeah. G Max Smite. Yeah, cool. me, Not me, me, me. What's up? Yeah, I mean it's fairy type. It's fairy type, so you just take that into account as well. But yeah, it confuses both. Just say, leave me alone in singles. I, I swerved me with a double confuse. Yeah. It's like that double sleep. Sleep sucks. Yeah, I just <laughs> lost to sleep. Uh, and a double protect, too. So that was, that was fun. Yeah, I wish um, Krim Style's GMAX move was 100% accurate. Like, the sleep part was 100%. Because that would be busted. <laughs> <clears throat> All right. Well, we're going to go into the bulk of this team. And Lordy, does he have bulk? I'm going to have to give it a 9. Agreed. I agree with nine. Um, they're naturally fat, which is handy. It's also, if he's running trick room, then he doesn't need to run speed on anything, which means it can go straight into bulk, which makes them even fatter. Um, or Beetle can provide screens. Um, yeah, bulky. Hatterene, Ndidi, Or Beetle, Reuniclus, all screens Pokemon. Even Dustbox can provide screens if you want to. Yeah, look, um, generous Jaden over here, and um, <laughs> you're accusing me a bit too generous in the last video, so I'm going to step it up a little bit. And um, yeah, look, I think it's six. No, just... <laughs> Whoa! No, 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 no. no. Um, look, I think he's um, he's got great bulk there. Uh, Rhyperia dust bulk, as all the all the I mentioned, really. Um, he's got a very, very naturally bulky team. Um, and I think a nine is appropriate. I think he's got great setup support, um, and then we'll, we'll lead to the screens more in the support segment. But you can't; it's so prominent that you can't talk about it. He has to talk about it in the bulk section too. <laughs> yeah. that, that there will be additional bulk because of those those support options. Not to mention as well that um, you can run assault vests on any number of those Pokemon too. Mm -hmm. And if he uh, is feeling cheeky and wants to run a weakness policy right here or one week under trick room, that could also be dangerous. Mm. Indeed. Just solid rock to make him so much better. Oh, weakness policy, GMAX Hatterene. Just um, shadow sneak into it. Mm hmm. Yeah, I could do that I too. Think of that. Well, as we can see, uh, we love his bulk, and that now leads us to his speed tier. And we've touched on it just a little bit. Um, his team is built for trick room. It is. Yeah, this is like, this this he, this... You yes, go. <laughs> oh, I was going to say it's hard. It's hard to grade this on speed tiers because of the fact that it's so slow, and that's intentional. So, what are you supposed to give it? I know Doug is fast, but like I'm just I'm, saying, like I'm giving it. A, oh. If I had to give it, I'd give it a nine. Only, I, only because he has to find a way to get Trick Room off. Obviously, he has a lot of uh, Trick Room abusers that can do it, but uh, taunts are going to be prevalent. Uh, counter Trick Room uh, imprisonment. Uh, there's going to be ways to stop it, but if he gets Trick Room off. 
I give him a nine for communication. Yeah, I can't. I think I'll stick with a seven. I can't. I can't give him a nine because of the fact that it's so slow. And so, if the trick room gets busted for whatever reason, he's in trouble. I realize he does have, you know, other options for speed. And DD will be doing that, but yeah, I think the, it's the, this is why you don't see hard trick room so often because if you don't get it off, your team just gets you get destroyed. Especially in a dra- advantage is he's especially eh? in a draft setting because you can well prep. Mm. You know, trick room's coming. It's not like a regular VPC yeah. tournament where you're like, all right, well, exactly. I just faced the Dragapult, and now I got it deal with this dust cloud. Yeah, but that's what I mean. It's normal to have a trick room mode, but it's hard without trick room itself. Yeah, no, I tend to agree with Stu on this. Um, like, trick room is great, um, and I really like running trick room myself. Um, but most of my teams, and especially in singles, I normally run a like, half trick room team. So half my Pokemon are uh, excellent in normal play. But then I have one or two Pokemon that are really, really good in Trick Room to make sure that I can still have that option. I have a Trick Room set up as well. So I set the Trick Room and then focus on that one Pokemon, usually Victini, to really um, hammer home the Trick Room advantage. Mm -hmm. Um, What this team doesn't have is outside of Dugtrio and to an extent Kabatops, there's not really many fast options. So um, I think artillery is quite slow, but you know it might get a moody boost on on its speed. Um, it's it's a bit of a gamble. He's running trick room week in week out. I think if you see this team oh. in trick room, I'm going to bring my own trick room options to keep the speed up. So mm. it'll be a bit of a mind game to see how this goes. Um, Does Laurentis get anything to slow to slow its speed down that speeds it up? Does it get like hammer arm or something? Um, it could, it could, it could run um, room service. Yeah. So if it does that make it faster? Time, it'll make it slower. Oh. But Lorenz no, is Lorenz... Oh, yeah. Con- but he doesn't have to run contrary. True. He, he loses so a lot of attack it. power from it, but he doesn't. Leaf guard is the other option. It's <laughs> rubbish. That's hey. Uh, I'm just trying to see what <laughs> hey. I could get. No, nothing I can see off the top of my head anyway. Alright, y'all y'all changed my mind. I'm going to an eight. I'm just be two. I still like the trick. Cool. I respect it. Alright, that leads us to uh, wall breaking. Um, and looking right at his team, I don't see a real wall breaker on his team that just hits hard, other than Doug Trio. But uh, you, you're not going to really use Doug Trio to, to sweep. So, I mean, um, his sweep is his sweep is a trick room threat, to be honest. Like, mm-hmm. Hedering, Rhyperia, Reuniclus are pretty. A pretty powerful trio under trick room it's always this every time we talk every category is going to have this proviso that under trick room under trick room but it's the fact is it's true mm-hmm. i'm going to give it a seven on wall breaking just because he's going to need to put in a lot of work to get the pokemon to be wall breakers what do you reckon Jaden? um <clears throat> yeah no i tend to agree i think it's um it's sort of difficult to say where the where the attacking threat is going to come from. Like you can see, well, sorry, this I'll change my statement there. You can see where the attacking threats are coming from. I don't know whether they'll be able to, um, or able to reliably. So you can see Rhyperia and think, okay, that's a that's going to be um, you know bringing out rock slides or earthquakes, um, but likely rock slides because if you look at the rest of his team, he doesn't really have a flyer or a levitate user to avoid those earthquakes you might be able to run a protector or something every now and then but you know by and large it's going to be he could also be punching holes in his own team mm-hmm. um i mean he's what, <laughs> essentially what he could do as well is he could run sword stance on kabutops and 
um, follow me on Indeedy. And that, and that could provide some excellent, you know, wall breaking potential. Um, same sort of deal with Carmine on Pattering. I think you could potentially have it that way. So, I agree with Stu. Um, wall breaking potential and it's under a lot of provisos, but I think seven is probably the way to go. Yeah, seven. All right. Well, that leads us to uh, recovery support. Um, that's where his team does thrive. It does have a good recovery in like Reuniclus, uh, Orbital, and Didi. Uh, I don't know if Lorantis gets any healing moves other than attacking healing moves. And same with Hatterene. I know Hatterene must get Wish or something. But... <clears throat> I mean, Lorantis gets, gets Synthesis, yeah, I was going to say that, and no, Leech Life. But um, mm-hmm. other than that... Okay. Leech Life is pretty handy. Yeah. Especially uh, with all the uh, Psychic types, uh, it can really put the Dark types on the opposing team on the back foot if it, mm-hmm. if it gets off on it. Um... Support wise, uh, Lorantis gets defog. Uh, I don't see rocks being a thing. Uh, he does have a, a unlimited screen <laughs> at his disposal. But uh, yeah, uh, I would give it another seven, and that's because he thrives on uh, that support. There, I gave it a nine. I think everything his whole everything in this team has some form of support apart from maybe Riparia but other than that everything else can do something if it needs to so yeah yeah no I agree I I was sort of going in the middle again but hey Psychic Terrain yeah Psychic Terrain Uh, really uh, helps under Trick Room as well because uh Hmm. You, you can't rely on priority moves to break down this team. Um, and that, right. that that leads us to Team Synergy. I will give it an 8. If he can get this team working and running the way I feel like he can, uh, eight, 8 is a strong number. For me. Yeah, yeah, I give it an 8 as well. Um, I couldn't give it a 9 solely because it's got 4 psychic types, which, as we say, isn't always worse, the worst thing ever, but um, you know, they have varying uses in this in his team, so it's not completely redundant. However, his team does become hugely knockoff weak. Um, what does Kabutops do in this team? Don't know. Doesn't really do too much. Contrary to Lorantis, you know, might get some superpowers off. That's about it. I don't know. So in that respect, I can't give it a nine. So an eight is fair, I think. And uh, so you said eight. Um, yep. I think Jaden said eight as well. And I said eight. So uh, that brings us to the final tally. Uh, I gave it a 39 out of 50. 40 for me. And then uh, once Jaden's able to, he will tell us his. 40. <laughs> oh, 40. <laughs> Fucking hell. Generous Jaden. Generous Jaden. Uh, yeah, that's it. Uh, 40, 40, 39. And that is Kenneth's team. Best of luck, Kenneth, on your trick room team. Nice. <laughs>